Thanks, Aaron. I don't really know if I can do that this time. This, this was screwed up. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Tokyo Gore Police. This film was suggested to me by a friend of mine. He's helped me out with a few of my videos in the past, so I thought I would review one of the ones that he suggested and I really regret the last two hours. This is by far one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen. I actually felt a little bit sick to my stomach, and I regret my life choices now. This film is essentially the embodiment of a very cheaply made Japanese movie trying to emulate some of the goriest and weirdest ass crap you've ever seen in anime, and... I guess it kind of succeeds in trying to go for literally its title in visual art form because the gore in this film is so ridiculous I couldn't show barely any of it on YouTube. Within the first two minutes I was already jaw dropped and I think this just proceeded to happen every two minutes throughout the film. There are some shit in this movie that I can't even fathom that they thought of but there is some weird ass hokey ass crap that happens over in Japan's media circles that I don't even want to know. And to put it in perspective, this is one of the tamest parts of the movie. The film follows this main character who's part of this super secret, very high tech kind of weird industrial sort of police that goes after these people called engineers that are essentially mutant like human beings that can morph weird creatures out of themselves and gore and blood and shit and everywhere and there's some sort of conspiracy in terms of who killed her father as she's trying to go after the guy who killed her father and essentially this is like power rangers on meth <laughs> The film is shot in very low quality, very awkward and weird up close-ups, weird dynamic angles, going for the most hokiest and cheesiest crap. Uh, I'm only gonna try meth once. I'm I'm not gonna be like that guy. This movie was horrifying. This movie got to a point where I was so desensitized that shit like this didn't even get to me anymore. In the end, it turns out that the person that she's been after is actually the son of the person who killed her father, because that guy was also set up by the person who became her surrogate father. What a twist! Could I say that I had an enjoyable time watching this? No! Not at all! This was actually really grueling to get through. I had to pause several times, and I'm still feeling unwell. Aaron, I'm very much hoping that the other movies you suggested to me are not like this one, because I never want to watch this again. And kind of going back to the very strange Japanese culture, there is a bit of trivia about this movie that is incredibly disturbing. Apparently, one of the creators of this film got the idea from a brothel he visited at a go-go bar in Thailand. How am I supposed to read that any other way than the way that I am currently thinking it? I do not want to have any knowledge of the backroom dark seated shit that these guys have been up to because this, this movie is a bad movie. If you are interested in weird ass gore effects, you might be interested in it. The fact that this was made in two weeks apparently is a pretty cool little bit. I can't imagine how overworked everyone was considering this is a near on two hour long movie, but there are also scenes that are just drawn out and repeat. They even re-show this scene, and that is actually tame in comparison to the flying middle finger hand. I would highly highly suggest you do not try and search out this movie not kidding don't try and find this I'm sorry Aaron if that upsets you but this movie's really fucked up bro this is a really fucked up movie I'm not giving it a rating I am just saying don't go and see it maybe look up the clips of it on YouTube but do not go and see this movie unless you want to regret your life decisions more than you already do. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm more so I put this together so I could show you guys clips from this movie because there's a lot of weird-ass crap in this movie. K
研究室に保管してあった殺人遺伝子をありったけ自分の体に注入したんだ俺は許せなかった親父を殺したやつを If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.